Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Julia. I'm a Cambridge Delta holder and an educator. I'm very glad and happy to share with you what to do on the day of the exam, sharing some practical tips with you so that you can feel more relaxed, relieved and confident on a day. Are you ready? Let's get started. Okay, first things first, I prepared some lists for you and not to forget here and there I will look into my phone so that I can share with you everything what is in my notes. Well, the first thing that I would like to share with you is the arrival and registration. Arrive early to allow time for registration and settling in. Normally, it's good enough if you come there 45 minutes in advance before the exam. Bring your ID, the registration confirmation and all necessary information that the exam center was supposed to send you. In paper one, your focus will be on language systems and skills. In paper two, the main focus will be on teaching methodology and approaches. And now some practical things on a day. So when only you enter the room, you will sit separately and there will be some special requirement on distance that needs to be kept between all the candidates. And this is really very strict so that you don't have any eye contact or any contact whatsoever with other participants. What is allowed on a desk? First of all, the water. And the water is supposed to have no labeling around. So remove anything what can contain the text, if possible. You are also allowed to have a pen that you can write with, and that's it. The smartwatch is forbidden. The phones will be locked uh, in a special place, so don't take anything with you. And preferably keep your phone in silent mode so that it doesn't disturb the workers in the exam center. If someone calls you, make sure you have enough water and take some snacks for the break in between. Usually that's something what can bring you energy, some nuts, or maybe if you eat chocolate, it may be dark chocolate and other things that can enrich you and nourish you with everything what is necessary for another 90 minutes of the exam for paper two. The exam is divided into two parts. The duration of the first paper is 90 minutes and the duration of the second paper is 90 minutes. In between, there is a break of half an hour where you will have a chance to drink some water, to eat, have a snack, maybe to brush up on some of your notes, but uh, please don't try to squeeze yourself. Try to use this opportunity for mental and physical relaxation and then well refreshed, enter the room and start paper two, full of energy and motivation. My advice is to not communicate with many people within this break. Keep your brain sane and empty from unnecessary information. Some other participants might have uh, some anxiety moments and you don't need it. You need to focus on success. Positive mindset and clarity of mind is really important. You don't need to have any ambiguity or anxiety on a day. So if you see that someone is anxious, it's better to not keep in touch with these people, if that makes sense. But instead, try to be on your own, drink enough water and try to prepare yourself mentally for another one hour and a half of cognitively engaging work. Time-wise, you will have only 90 minutes per each of the papers, sharp, and no one will let you write longer than 90 minutes. So that's something what is really important to keep in mind and plan your time carefully. I suggest starting with the tasks that you are really good at and that can bring you a lot of marks. Then you can play it safe and move further with the effective strategies and approach other tasks. If you are currently looking for effective strategies of how to approach Delta Module 1, I'm very happy to share with you some videos that you can find uh, here, as well as I'm very glad and happy to invite you to one of my Delta Module 1 preparation courses, the link to which you can find in the description down below. 
Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you liked it. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and press like. And if you are currently preparing for Delta module 1, 2 or 3, you can find the links down below which lead to my courses, guidance and workshops. I wish you good luck in your upcoming exam and see you in my upcoming video. Bye!